Hey, what's up my beautiful people? The topic of today's reading was suggested by Luna White. Thank you, Luna. Uh, and I thought that I could title it How Their Friends See You. However, the more specifically the reading will be the advice their friends are giving to your person about your connection, about you. Uh, so we will have a couple of piles as usually. We will take some astrological placements too. And let's see. Uh, I decided that today I will use this Decameron deck. So please, it's a little bit explicit. Forgive any uh, spicy pictures. But that's what we are doing today. Uh, let's see for the first pile. What are their friends advising your person for your connection, for your situationship? What are they advising? What are their friends advising for your connection, for your situationship, for your relationship? We have King of Swords. Let's see. Oh, I like this one. Let me just see. I need one with placements because no, not all of them are here. First of all, uh, what I have here is a couple of scenarios, I mean like two. Uh, for those of you who are in a third party situation, what I'm getting strongly from this pile, uh, their friends are advising them to break up their marriage, to divorce, to uh, leave their partner, their third party and to end up with you guys basically. But we will little bit look a little bit further into this. Uh, so for those of you who are interested into somebody who is not available, I am getting that their friends are on your side and they are uh, basically cheerleaders when it comes to this relationship, when it comes to this connection and I'm getting they will be your best friends in the future. So um, it won't be for all of you because not all of you are in a third party situation. So just take that into consideration. For the rest of you who are not in a third party situation, what I'm getting is that um, you are like, in the eyes of their friends, you are the most compatible compatible person for uh, this person. And this is something really significant. I am getting that they are seeing you as the most suitable match for them because I am getting that your person is a little bit quirky, you know, they have their own um, eccentricities and, and I'm getting that your their friends are seeing you as somebody who could cope with their, uh, you know, just mindset, their view when it com comes to world, when it comes to relating, when it comes to situationship. One thing I'm hearing is this person is not easy. Uh, to be tame, but you, your, their friends think that you guys can do that. So uh, I am getting that they are advising your person to settle down with you, you know, uh, to build something solid here, however, to be discreet when it comes to this affair, for whatever reason, I am getting that uh, there is a necessity to be very subtle when it comes to uh, dealing, when it comes to your connection. So this is something really significant. When it comes to this pile, I am sensing this need of secrecy, of privacy, of seclusion. So I am also getting that they may be advising your person to, you know, just take you away. Uh, and that you guys should go somewhere on some type of a trip where you can really develop and discuss your relationship. So I am getting the two of ones so it, it, and five of ones as well. So it often indicates the situation where a person really has 
to choose uh, between two options so for those of you who are in a third party they are advising uh, them to make a decision finally this is something really significant and for those who are not I'm just getting that they are uh, really urging your person to be more communicative, more expressive, more transparent toward you to make that move already because Knight of Wands is my first move card. So uh, this is something that I'm getting really strongly and I'm getting that this person, if they are not approaching you currently, it's due to fear of rejection. You know, they are fearful when it comes to how you guys will react to their approach, to their advances, you know, so this is something really significant. With the Mars in Cancer, uh, this person, if, if they are masculine, they are not your typical masculine, as I already said, they are something eccentric, eccentric when it comes to this person and their dealings when it comes to relationships. Uh, I am sensing that they won't be your typical male just running after every skirt in the town, you know. So they are a little bit more to themselves and reserved uh, type of a person. Although there is this uh, slight extroversion side to them too. Uh, so what I'm also strongly getting with that Mars in Cancer, their methods of getting with you guys may be somewhat... Um, unconventional when unconventional maybe to the males so uh, how do I say that uh, if you are not dealing with a male if you are dealing when, with a woman then she will have these cunning women womanly uh, strategies to grab your attention you know uh, she may give you that look over that shoulder or wink in the passing by and if it is a guy he won't be overly overbearing when it comes to you so I am getting that they are advising uh, your person to be more forward when it comes to you to step into more into their alpha mood uh, because I am getting that this is something very necessary uh, in this pile with the south node in five, fifth house, uh, fifth house is uh, romance, is flings. South node often when it comes uh, to a certain house, it uh, deprives that house of the very same thing it is in. So for many of you I am getting here that uh, their friends are advising this person to leave behind any other uh, potential flings or potential admirers. Uh, that are not you when it comes to this connection. So this is something really uh, significant. Let me see what else I have. It's overall a very positive uh, pile. Uh, it may be only for the small portion of you, a really smallish portion that they may be advising them to break uh, the connection um, due to lack of I'm getting action or inactivity but just to set that aside too I'm not feeling that as much in this pile let me see what else uh, we have here with Saturn in the fourth house uh, I am getting uh, that they may be advising your person that they should really build, build as I already said quite a solid uh, quite a solid stability with you guys that there's something that you guys can give uh, their person as I already said their friends are pretty much your biggest fans so this is something really beautiful um, so they do see you as this will sound a little bit uh, vain but like uh, Mm, the most majestic asset for your person when it comes to dealing with people, when it comes to interpersonal uh, uh, interpersonal dynamics, so uh, the best possible choice, you know. Um, really mighty and interesting file is what I'm getting about this. Uh, but let me see what else we have here. With the Mercury in the fifth house and the uh, direct opposite is of the Mercury is here is the 11th house, which is the house of social media, mass media, etc. I am getting for some of you that they are advising your person to make 
such that um, to make some type of impact through social media to send you a ma email I don't know online wink or uh, I don't have Instagram how things are functioning there but but basically uh, to make themselves known uh, to you uh, through the use of social media is what I'm hearing strongly with this Mercury in the fifth house so this is something really beautiful um, let me see what else yes but there's this strong need em emphasized uh, when it comes to making decision and I'm getting that they are urging like come on do that already I mean I'm getting that they may be discussing your situation with their friends for ages now I mean it doesn't have to be literally but metaphorically and I mean their friends are basically becoming bored with the situation in that sense that they are like you're constantly talking about that come on do something you know so um, this is what I'm getting strongly for this pile but this would be that for the first pile if you feel called pick, pick another pile too or, or if you have for another person something of that nature but I hope you like this reading if you did like and subscribe and thank you for listening so we are on our second pile of what are they telling their friends about you uh, as I already said in the beginning, this deck is the camera on, it's a little bit explicit, so there may be some scenes on the pictures, forgive me for the any inadequacies, but let's see, what are they telling their friends, what their friends are advising them, I'm sorry, uh, but let's see, second pile, what are their friends advising them when it comes to this situation? cards with placements astrological because you will be we use some if you are new to the channel uh, Vedic placements but let's see I think it will be enough Okay, this pile is a little bit weird for me, but uh, hear me out. Um, the way things are, their friends appreciate you very much. They are having you on this pedestal. I am getting that for some of you, they may also be thinking that you are somewhat arrogant, but you know, in a good way, you know, you know your worth and everything. And I am getting... For whatever reason, maybe this person already approached you or tried something and, and it didn't really transpire to the best way. If not that, it any, in any case, I'm getting that they may be advising your person to uh, put a little bit of stagnation in this connection and to focus more on themselves, you know, uh, because I am getting that... For whatever reason their friends think that you guys have to be the ones to make the first move in this connection so i am hearing them like advising your person to be like come on know your words you know uh you're not just somebody who everybody can help for whatever reason i am getting that they are holding your person even uh, on a pedestal and they want they want nothing but the best uh, for them so I don't know what it is about you guys but for whatever reason their friends may have this feeling that you guys have to give them something in order for them to react if that makes sense uh, perhaps um, as I already said uh, perhaps you um, are indebted to them when it comes to certain gesture perhaps they already did something but it really didn't go uh, anywhere so um, it's really interesting pal let me see what else 
I am getting that they want your person to be more focused on them, on their friendly dynamics. This may uh, also be something that they are advising uh, to your person and with Saturn in the sec uh, second house. I also have here nine of pentacles, Saturn may represent a little bit of restriction, second house is our speech, our financial assets, so I am getting that they may be telling them to be more reserved at this time, to focus more on their finances, on improvement of their status. Uh, yes, there's big question of status here. For whatever reason their friends see currently as a priority for this person to focus on their status, on their work, on their um, financial fluidity, that makes sense. I am getting for some of you that this person has lost their job recently or they were fired, whatever uh, happened in this situation. So uh, their friends are more of a pragmatical type. Uh, who will advise like please do focus on your um, you know tangible concrete material things before you re-establish this uh, stability but it's not that they are uh, not wanting you guys to be together it's just that uh, they are like wait for the perfect timing you know uh, if you are meant to be as you seem uh, this connection will be there and uh, I mean you cannot not be with person that you are not that you are meant to be with and this is how their friends see your connection and how uh, they are advising them too so I'm really surprised when it comes to this pile this is my pile too so uh, this is something really significant with the moon in Pisces and uh, here we when it comes to them we look there the direct opposite house so if moon is in Pisces in this placement uh, Virgo is something that comes to my uh, consciousness strongly and I am getting for some of you that they may be advising your person that they should also focus to their uh, two things or two or three other things to like help their profession, their service, perhaps they have some type of humanitarian task that they want to uh, finish too, is what I'm getting uh, for the smaller portion of this pile, so take that also in, into consideration. Mm. Yeah, I do believe uh, with the Venus in Sagittarius also their friends may be not so overly traditional type and they may be the type to advise not, advise them not to be rushing when it comes to settling down, you know, uh, just uh, to get their studies, their ambitions, their goals, their worldly uh, achievements uh, in check in order to establish a qual quality, uh, very um, high quality connection. So this is something really beautiful. Let me see what else I have here. With the Mars in third house, as I already said, uh, they are advising them to be a little bit more reserved when it comes to communication. Uh, but also it may be that uh, they could be telling them to be more assertive when it comes to standing up for themselves because Mars is this soldier, this uh, my way or the highway and third house is the house of communication so I am getting that they may, urging, may be urging your uh, person to um, to try and assert themselves more in a communicative matter to you. So this is something uh, really significant here that I'm sensing. Let me see if I have anything else. Uh, this will also be for the smaller portions of you, uh, but they may be advising your person to focus on their paperwork. So for whatever reason, I'm getting that this person has to go outside abroad to work for a season and perhaps they're lacking visa or something of that nature. So uh, that's also something that they see uh, quite, quite strong when it comes to this connection. Um, let me see what else we have. I am also uh, getting strongly that they are advising their uh, 
friend to complete something else before this connection comes completely in fruition uh, in order for this connection to blossom the way it uh, should. So I am getting that this person has some type of unfinished business dealings or something like that. Yes, related with the four of pentacles. So uh, I am getting it will be maybe related to their savings, to their, um, you know, just um, finances in general. There's something related to this person's finances and this connection, you know. Um, yes, and I'm also getting that perhaps your person has been overly giving in the past, so they may be telling them, like, uh, don't be overly giving in, the, in your love connection. Try to maintain an equal give and take. Uh, so this is some general stream that they may be telling uh, your person to focus on. Um, but yes, I think I will finish it here. If you like this reading, like and subscribe and thank you for listening. Let's go to the third pile. What are they telling your friend? I mean, what are they advising your person when it comes to you? Uh, what are they advising your person? So this is our reading tea on their friends, but specifically what are they advising your person? Who, and getting that they are advising primarily to this person to take care of their anxieties, of their insecurities, of their PTSD, it will be for the small portion of you. But let me see. I do feel this urge to take one more. What are they advising your person? Yes, so as I already said, this person is currently dealing with some type, oh, I forgot to say, this deck is a little bit explicit, so please don't mind it. I hope you guys don't mind it. Uh, forgive me if you do. But let's see, uh, what I'm getting strongly that this person is this a little bit weird uh, period of their life. If this is somebody spiritual, it may be, it doesn't have to be. I am getting that they did some practices that um, started releasing some type of karmas inside of themselves. Because when we do some practices, it starts releasing uh, some, uh, you know, repressed emotions and things that we uh, suppressed uh, during the course of our life or life. So for those of them who are in spirituality, they may be having like, not dark night of the soul, but uh, you know, some repressed emotions came out to them in this current period. And even if they are not in spirituality, this can apply. This person is having psychologically uh, difficult period where I'm getting that they are trying to work uh, and improve, uh, improve their mental, um, mental clarity, mental uh, resilience. There's something, something happened to this person, uh, which is they are now in this period of trying to recover from that. You know, um, this is something really significant. I am hearing for some of you that it may have been related with a with an illness or a death of a close member or family or just close person. So somebody close to them injured something difficult and they are now in this period. So uh, their friends are telling them like, come on, work on yourself. Uh, don't let the anxiety destroy uh, this situation, this relationship you have with this person, communicate with them. Um, tell them with the moon as well, with, along with Knight of Swords. Uh, I am getting 
that they are advising them like tell them what's happening don't keep them uh, in the dark because I am getting that with this moon as well that you are currently a little bit confused when it comes to behavior of this person so they are advising them to urgently do something that will bring with this king of swords more clarity to the situation and to do something physically not to prolong uh, the discussion between you guys so this is something really uh, significant let me see what else I have with the Mars in the first house yes they are advising them as I already said to make a physical left act of advancement over you whether it be sit in that car and go to their country you know visit them uh, solve the issues that you guys have or it may be something along the lines uh, make a gesture let that person know that uh, they are valid in this connection that they are crucial for you for your um, benevolence you know uh, is what i'm healing, hearing strongly when it comes to this uh, with the nord node in aries i am getting that they're advising them to be more proactive to uh, also expand your awareness when it comes to situation because nord node is a big expansion and aries may denote our awareness of what we know what we don't know with this moon too about situation little side message uh if you think that this person uh is in a third party it's not a third party it's a stage thing it's uh something for uh, mutual uh benefits so don't let that uh, worry you uh and i'm getting also that they may be advising your person if that's your scenario uh come on let that person person know that you don't have a partner actually that this person is just uh just your cover or something like that you know so uh take that into consideration i'm hearing that strongly too uh let me see what else i have here All three piles are very curious tonight, but let me see. Let's take one more. Mm. With the Taurus in the fourth house, they are advising your person that they can have it all with you, like stability, financial uh, prosperity, uh, you know, just firm foundation when it comes to home, that you are the person that uh, can help them build this legacy you know with king of pentacles too uh i am hearing for some of you that this person may have avoidant attachment style when it comes to psychology i don't know if they are acquainted with the term uh, but they know it's something so i am getting that their friends are urging them like come on go see psychologists and let them know uh, the issues that prevent your relationship uh relationships from blossoming and it will help you with this higher often too i am getting that they are advising them like come on seek a beneficial third party you can deal with this alone uh you have to um, you have to step up for this connection uh otherwise nothing will happen of the situation so this is something really significant that i'm hearing um, let me see what else they are uh, uh, advising your person to abandon something uh, with regards to uh, you and this connection so if they are in a third party but this person is currently terribly stressed that's for sure if they are in a third party they are telling them to leave that person to abandon that connection because I'm getting this connection was really devilish for your person and brought them nothing good uh, and their friends are urging them to uh, you know transcend that connection because I am feeling that, that that may have been some type of karmic if it's not a connection it may have been some type of circumstances in their life uh, which are basically karmic and lower vibration so uh, I hope that makes sense Yes, but this was our third pile. I hope you guys liked this reading. If you did, like and subscribe and thank you for listening.